Welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. I have uh, David here with me. David is our engineer and he uh, looks after a lot of the our machines coming back to uh, base on, uh, for the service center work and he uh, even talks to people on the phone. So he is in charge of all the, uh, the servicing here. So thank you for joining me, David, right. today. So we're going to have a quick look at uh, the classics the new classic uh, and just to sort of show you what needs doing in terms of maintenance now I've got two of the classics uh, the reason I have the, the two classics uh, is that one has got two tubes coming in into the uh, into the water tank and the other has only one tube the latest model latest model of one so tube I think only. yeah recently yeah. gadget has changed the uh, the tubing, the tubing. Uh, the how it works yeah. to one tube it yeah. is like the old baby it is where the two tubes one coming from the solenoid valve yeah. and the other one coming from the from the OPV, OPV valve they come into one yeah. uh, as a into a, y splitter, into and a y splitter, splitter. Yeah. and then it goes into one your drip yeah, tray yeah, into now. Your, into your so very similar to the old baby. Yeah. Classic, the two tube system is slightly different, where you have one tube going back to the uh, water tank. to the water tank, and the other going into uh, from the solenoid valve. It goes into the drip tray. Yeah, do your, yeah. So although the instruction manual might show that uh, you have got two it's tubes. It's you now have only one, one tube, yeah. so don't worry about it. Yeah. There is nothing uh, that has changed yeah. in terms of uh, how the machine works. So this is the 2019 model. Yeah, Pro. Uh, the Pro. Uh, so you, the Pro is uh, because we uh, have a professional steam arm. Um, that's another thing that you need to clean as well it uh, is, it is, yeah. from time to time. It, it's good to clean it as you are doing yeah. the frothing of the milk as soon as you finish yeah. you can actually take this off can't you yeah. just the, the nipple can actually yeah. be turned taken off and cleaned yeah. and just blast a little bit of yeah. water through yeah. that's a good thing as yeah. well right so we have some uh, descaling and degreasing and such uh, material here Probably, yeah. so do you want to sort of uh, so what what we want to try and show you is Apart from uh, machine needs to be descaled, it does. Uh, we have a gadget uh, descaler, yeah, uh, and that's in a bottle, uh, liquid, premixed, yeah. And all you do is put it into the water tank, yeah, with a certain amount of water, Cold water but halfway, we know, halfway, yeah, and then you send water through the steam pipe, yeah, by pressing the coffee button yeah and opening, opening the steam, steam wand water will yeah. come through there and you close the steam wand with the button still pressed yeah water will come Open through the, the head. head yeah and if you do that every sort of uh, you do it for about half a cup of water a, a small this this air an espresso yes a little with. more than yeah. I think it would well, be good to have about half a cup half of a cup, uh, yeah. water and then leave it for about 10 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes I think 10 minutes is probably uh, mm. okay uh, the main thing is you shouldn't have it for too long no. because it can actually damage yeah. the boiler so 20 minutes is maximum 10 minutes it's, is it's probably okay minute, yeah, minute, minute, minute. and then you start uh, doing the uh, every so often, five minutes. just run some water every through, five minutes. Both through for. the steam yeah. pipe and through the head as well. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Um, but I think uh, in in any case, if you uh, even if you are not descaling the machine, I normally recommend that you run water through uh, the steam pipe as yeah. well as through the head. Yeah even if you are not descaling it because that actually Keeps flushes the, the system, yeah, flushes the system through, so it's yeah. always good to yeah. just flush yeah. water yeah. through the yeah. system um, the other thing that we uh, have to do here now I also have got here the de, uh, 
the powder. fully descaling yeah. powder. powder solution. We used to have gadget powder as well. We before. did used to do baby cleaner. Didn't yeah, we? this yeah. is very similar to that. It is, yeah. And you mix it in yeah. water, Often. and instead of having the liquid already mixed, yeah. you could actually have uh, that one mixed in That's water. That's a form of tartaric acid, isn't it? Yes, it's yeah. it's a bit more. Uh, involved because you yeah. have to mix it otherwise yeah. it's a lot less expensive yeah, a lot less, yeah. and we have tested them you have to be careful not to use um, any kind of descaler yeah it can't be a lot of stuff from the supermarkets to say suitable but it's only okay with stainless steel boilers yeah which is kettles and irons yeah some coffee machines with an aluminium food one grade boiler yeah. not suitable yeah that's why gadgets produce their own descaler Yes, yeah. so that is perfect for uh, these type of machines as well perfect. as for the automatic yep. machines as well. Yeah, but these, we have tested them we, and therefore we well. recommend them yep. as a good, a good enough descaler. Uh, there is also a video showing how to unblock solenoid valves if it is really blocked. You can actually unblock it by pressing the steam button intermittently. Have a look at the video uh, that is uh, quite a good one for unblocking uh, solenoid valves. Mm. Now, uh, so those are external things that you can do for yeah. cleaning the, uh, uh, no, sorry, this one is actually descaling internal bits. Internal bits, uh, pump and the boiler. Uh, pump and the boiler. Steam valve, yeah. Degreasing is the more external cleaning. It is. Degreasing, we do degreasing tablets. Again, they are pulley tablets, so uh, you can have gadget tablets as well. Uh, they actually clean the coffee oils. Co yeah, res thing. coffee residue. So oil. if you yeah. have a, a basket that has got a lot of uh, the filter holder can really get soiled with yep. oil, coffee residue, and yeah. also the baskets can. Yep. This is a single basket. Now this is a perfect crema basket. It has got one single hole, and you should normally use it with this a little crema, per, a crema, crema pen. pen yeah. But it's a good thing to actually clean it with a tablet, yeah. especially the perfect crema basket. Definitely so, more so than the traditional. So just put it in, yeah. press the button to get a little bit of water. Very small amount of water. And then start doing it every few minutes yep. to try and dissolve, dissolve it the coffee and that will become nice and foamy won't it? It will, be, it'll it'll become dirty and foamy. Yeah. Yes, yep. so that'll, that's a good way of cleaning yep. uh, the baskets. Some people use uh, blanks. Yep. Now you have to be careful uh, using blanks because it can back flush. Back flushing is okay on commercial machines, on domestic machines uh, not too much recommended because no. you don't want the thing to go back into the boiler into by boiler. any chance no, no. and also the block used on a domestic machine is an aluminium aluminium one. yeah it is and that can corrode as well it isn't can, it yeah. right so that's the other part of the yeah. cleaning uh, yeah. again we have got uh, videos of uh, cleaning mm -hmm. and degreasing and such like so let's have a look at the uh, the next level of cleaning okay uh, what we're talking about is removing uh, some of the parts yeah. for cleaning. Well, not yeah. internal parts, no. but external parts. So do you want to show that? Uh, yeah, but yeah. what we need to get over first uh, to do it, and even if you're doing it to scale, yeah. the shower disc and the holding plate yeah. must be removed from the machine. Okay. Because any, any coffee, any scale bits yeah. after the scaling, if, it, if they're left on, they cannot come away from the machine and they get blocked behind causing more problems right so they must be removed until yep. the machine has been fully descaled so we do yep. some uh, cleaning brushes as well so you can actually buy cleaning brushes yep. to remove head, re yep. re so do you want to actually yep. show the so yeah so to do this we're going to remove the uh, water yep. tank lid okay we're going to remove the drip tray and the drill and we're going to remove the water tank. The so you can see that this particular one has got only one tube, and this one has got two. two tubes. That yeah, said so before, that's yeah. the new, newest yeah. version. Yeah. Yeah. And I always think the easiest way of working on this machine is to turn the machine upside down okay. on its roof, so the bottom are facing you. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I always recommend put a towel or a tea towel down on the work surface. Okay. So you don't damage the machine, you don't damage your work surface. Yeah. 
So we're just going to turn the machine upside down, as so, like that. Make sure that you have taken the water tank out. Yeah, definitely. I've unplugged it and it's turned off. Okay. Yeah, definitely so. So yep. what we're going to do now, we're going to remove the uh, we're going to remove the shower disc, which is the uh, the little shower head there, disc in the hand there. Yeah. With a, a small fillet screwdriver. One second. That's it. So it's a. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a number it's a number two short stubby. Yeah. The screwdriver. Okay. Uh, you must get it right. It's a Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. Yep. And then you have got a shower disc. Yep. So bit. make sure that you keep your uh, screws uh, nice and safe. Nice and safe. So that is actually the shower. That's disc. the shower disc. That's the water comes through there. And this can get blocked. That with can a get lot blocked. Only oils, isn't it? Very tiny oils, as you can see. Yep. Very tiny oils. So the degreasing yep. can clean this. It can clean that. But you can also put a degreasing tablet into hot water and you could dissolve it, yeah. Dissolve it, means, yeah, yeah. And then brush yeah. it. Brush it. Yeah. So yeah. that's another way of cleaning that it because is. after a while you'll find that there's a lot of coffee that actually yeah, residue of stuff. It. Yeah. yeah. So we've done so, that. So okay. the next one is uh, this is your holding plate inside yeah. and it's held on with two five mil allen bolts. Yeah. So this is the 2019 model and the, it is very similar to the pre-2015 version. Very similar. You have got an aluminium yep. boiler with a, alu, al, an aluminium block. Correct. Okay, yep. you want to remove... Uh, yep. So, so there are two Allen screws. Yep. Uh, is it the five... It's a five, five mil. mil. Yeah. The five mil, yeah. Okay. So we're just going to slightly loosen them first. This is the old in plate. Some, sometimes this can get a bit stuck with a little bit of coffee residue, but nine times out of ten, if you just put some in and just leave it, it should just come out there. Like that. Okay. So that's your old in plate that yeah. much. So this has got four holes, and these have to be open for the water you to do come through. You do all four holes on the outer edge, so yeah. the water's just. So if you open it up, you will see that there is a hole there, yeah. which brings the water and it actually spreads the water through the four holes through the four holes yeah and through all these all holes there. on the shower disc making a nice even and it sort of floor. sprays yeah yeah or, or yeah. Uh, yes showers yeah. it yeah that's why we call it a shower, shower disc. disc correct okay and give it a good clean uh and don't soak it in any, uh, any, 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 any anything uh, discaling wise. Yeah. yeah, you need to wipe it's it out. Just, yeah. Yeah. I you, can, just, you can you yeah. can brush that. A wire brush well. yes. comes off nice and clean. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then you put it back in the same way. There is a rubber seal. Yep, yeah. you got your filter seal you there. You can actually see there. there. I don't think you can see it there, but the, there is a rubber seal it's that's out. called a filter it's seal. Uh, you can take it off. Uh, well, we take yes, it you can do. Up, yeah. So just this is this is a tool for removing the uh, the, 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 the filter seal. It's like a, just like a sharp bradle, really. Yeah. And it's just a case of you stick it into the side of the seal, and you pull up like that there. Yeah. That's your seal there, Raj. And that needs to be nice and flexible. Flexible, yeah. If you after a while, it really gets hard. If if you leave the handle in. Yeah. After making a coffee, we're not removing it. So this is what yeah. touches the the filter to hole. Make the seal, yeah. When you when you put it in, that's where the rubber seal is, and if that doesn't seal properly, you'll find that water will leak. Come through. over the top. Yeah. So you need to make sure that this yeah. is changed and yeah. this is nice and flexible. It needs to be very flexible. Yeah. It, once it gets hard, it yeah. won't it won't grip properly. It won't seal. Yeah. And we, we have these parts on our website. We do, yeah. They're so all, you can uh, have they're all saleable them. parts, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that it just, when you're when putting it back, either way is okay. Yeah, so it, it's, it's both yeah. are flat, flat both sides. Both flat surfaces, yeah. yeah. You can just put In it In fact, out. if you wanted to take it off, turn, it, it, over. turn it over, yeah, that's you quite can get a bit more yeah, life out of definitely it. Definitely so. Yeah. It can be done. That's all pressing into that little reveal inside. Yeah. And then you have that one. Yeah, you can put that back there. Make sure that it's uh, Lined positioned, up. the two holes are positioned in the right place. for the Allen key. Yep. I should just drop back in there. One. So when you're doing uh, uh, a D scale, 
it's a good practice to try and do this at the same time. Yeah. Do a bit of maintenance on a regular basis. Mm. Now, in hard water areas, we suggest that we you do the descaling every two months at least. At least, yeah. sometime maybe six weeks, yeah. parts of London and... But I find that uh, mm. flushing water through, uh, even if you are not doing descaling, does just flushing it does help. can help. Yeah. Uh, so at least you need to do it, even if you are in a, a sort of a less a hard water area, you need to do it every three months. Yeah. That's what we recommend. And always use a recommended uh, descaler. Yeah. Uh, Gadget descalers are very good for this. So these are yeah. aluminium boilers. Yeah. You really you've need to be careful. What with you've got to remember is a lot of stuff from supermarkets uh, are not suitable for an so aluminium boiler. They are boiler. for open element boilers. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are internal there's, boilers. And, there's, uh, inter there's, there's mainly three brands that we don't really recommend. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, Gadget is well known, so uh, we, we recommend it, of course, because we have tested it. We also have the pulley, which is pretty good as well. It's very good. So make sure that you check it out. Yep. It is. It should be suitable for coffee machines, yep. not for open element no. things like... No, closed uh, element, boiler oil, uh, yeah. kettles, irons. Please as, don't as touch. Yeah, like yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so you have fitted them. I've fitted that back on, that's been okay. turned over. Now we'll just... Uh, We'll just remove this, our cloth from there, yep. just so it doesn't get damaged. Back on its feet. Always make sure your pipes go properly into the uh, water tank. Yep. Push it in there, push it back in. Drip tray back in. Yep. So, uh, thank you, uh, we, David, for uh, uh, showing us how to do it. Now, yeah. can you, you want yeah. to show this how is to a, This is the end yeah. of, this is the nozzle, the spray yeah. nozzle on the end of the steam arm. Yeah, as that's see, another thing that you it, need yeah, to clean. This does literally just does screw off. Yeah, if it, if you don't clean it properly, it yeah. can get stuck. Oh yeah, definitely. You, so you'll you might find have it, to use a spanner. You'll find it hard to remove it, yeah. and it has got to, to a couple little holes in there. Three, uh, three, two, is it? No, three? two holes. Two, yeah. holes. two holes. You could use a paper clip or something small to clean it, to prod it through. But okay. it can be soaked in some. Yeah. The overnight. easiest way to clean, I find, is when you when you finish frothing the milk, a bit of steam down the clean steam it arm. with a wet cloth, yeah, definitely and so. then run some uh, hot water through, yeah. and that cleans a through. bit of steam and hot water. Yeah, that definitely actually so. makes it must be kept clean. That. Yeah. So always prime your machine uh, when you are when you have uh, when you have opened it for the first time of course you need to prime the machine uh, priming is sending water through here and through here at by the same pressing, time, yeah. by pressing the the coffee button, coffee button and, opening and opening the wand the steam you'll up. get water through both sides prime the machine. and that's really yeah. a good thing yeah. and as i said before have a look at the webs uh, the videos for unblocking solenoid valves solenoid valves can get blocked with scale and therefore you need to really maintain it and this is a good way of doing it yeah. so thank you for watching subscribe to our youtube channel yep. go to our website for more details on gadgetdirect.com and thank you thank you thanks <laughs>